sometimes when the bus is really late, they just skip it in order to keep the other buses on schedule. I... We could just walk back to Reefham. There are connections if you're going to Norwich. Okay. So, you're the new girl at Reefham High. I go there too. Yeah, I think I've seen you before. I'm Jared. Claire. So, where are you from? North Ocean. Oh, that's nice. You must miss it though. You know, your friends? Not really, to be honest. I mean, my dad moved me here because of bullying, so... It's like a fresh start. Oh, sorry. Well, no, it's no big deal or anything. I mean, that's life in a small town. I mean, if you're from a non-traditional family, and I dare say I am, you know, you kind of have to expect traditional people to take offence. They don't have to. Well, you know how, like, someone who's autistic, they get angry and frustrated when you break the routine? It's kind of like that, except, you know, when the patient population reaches a certain size, then it's called tradition. I don't really know how autism works. Well, I do. My brother's autistic. Oh, I thought you meant you were the one who was bullied. I was. Oh, you don't know how happy we are to hey, see man. you. <laughs> All right. Martin, this is Claire. Hi. Martin is like my oldest friend, back from when my family lives in Ailesham. Yeah, but you can probably tell by the way we look into each other's eyes that this is more than just a simple friendship. Uh, yeah, it's more like a mutually insured psychological destruction. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hugging is so 80s. Uh, but seriously, what was your name again? Claire. You look familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Well, I've just moved here. She goes to my school. You know what it is? It's those drawings, you know, in your notebook, where you do your <clears throat> sketches. I don't really remember anything like that. I'm sure that's it. Let's see it, come on, get it out. There could be maybe one or two where maybe there's some sort of resemblance. Crazy coincidence, eh? Yeah. So, you have drawings that look like me. Well, Martin seems to think so. Do you have the sketch whip on you? What, do you mean do I carry it around with me? I'd be flattered. You would? Uh-huh. You know, when you're born a boy, you can have some terrible insecurities about the way that you look. I mean, it's so nice when someone finds you attractive. Born a boy? Does that bother you? Me? Uh, no, no. Um, no. Well, it's just like people these days. They can have some terrible old-fashioned views and ways of looking at things. You okay? I'm fine. Fine. Yeah, it's just awful how old-fashioned people can be. Well, this is the thing. You know, back in the day, men had the job and the women had to stay at home and look pretty, you know? And now, these days, everything's mixed up. Yeah, it's strange, but nowadays you've got friends from Lithuania or wherever, friends who are punk, friends who are goth. And it's completely natural for young people, but old-timers, they can't let go of the world they knew when they were young. Well, exactly, you know? And that's kind of roundabout the way of me saying that I find you pretty, you know? You have the sketchbook, and I don't have the sketchbook, and I... You know, I sort of fought to say it out of politeness. Well, I think you're pretty too. For a boy. A boy? Do I look like a boy? You said you were born a boy. No, I said you were born a boy. You thought I was a boy this whole entire time.
um, does that bother you? Of course not. <laughs> that was kind of funny how. A little confusion there. Yeah. Oh, here's my bus. So do I look like a girl? Or do I look like a boy trying to look like a girl? I said you were pretty. Right, okay then. Well, anyway, I'm going to Norwich to grab some pints and, you know, watch a game with my mates in case you wanted to come. Norwich pubs, hey? <laughs> Heard they can get sort of rough. Just stick with me and I'll get you home with your shoes on, alright? Come on. <laughs>